Hello, my name is Will Connell, Construction Technology Product Specialist. Today I'm going to be talking about Trimble Earthworks infield design mode. Let's hop in the cab and take a look. In this video, we're going to talk about the infield design mode within Trimble Earthworks. From the dashboard, we're going to go into the job setup tile. For mode, we want to make sure and select infield. And for design, we're actually going to create a new infield design. Down at the bottom, I'm going to select design. Now I have another design in here I've created previously, but at the bottom I can add a design. So I'm going to hit this create button here. Now when I hit create a new design, it's going to give me the option to create either a level pad, a sloping pad, or an alignment and section. For this example, I'm going to choose alignment and section. Now I can choose either to use points I've previously shot using the machine, my focus point on my bucket, or a template. I'm going to use the focus point on my bucket. So I have my bucket set out there on the center line of a road, let's say. So I'm going to use that as my origin point. And so uh, it'll be the center of my bucket based on this button here. I can move that to the left or right tip of my bucket, but for this I'm going to use the center of my bucket. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new point here. So that's my origin point. The next thing I'm going to do is put my bucket on the next point of the center line of my road. So I'm going to move it in here. So I have that set on the second point of my road. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add a point. So you can see on my graph here that I've added a point. It's told me exactly how far I've gone and in which direction northing easting. At this point, if I wanted to edit the elevation of each one of these points, I can do that here. I can also edit the northing and the easting as well, just by tapping on these points and changing those values here. I'm in plan view now, but I can switch over to elevation view. And you can see that the grade that I'm at is relatively flat. It's actually pretty perfectly flat. Um, if I wanted to change that here, I could tap on these and, and change that as I needed to. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next, and you can see I'll go from step one of three to step two. In this step, it'll ask me if I want to create my design on the screen using my finger, using the focus point on my bucket, or a template from a previous job that I've loaded in before. I'm going to go ahead and use on screen here. So you can see I have the cross-section view of my excavator on the bottom right. So that's the cross-section view of this section um, of road that I'm doing here. So I'm going to say this is about a 12-foot lane. So in order to get it perfectly 12 feet, I'm going to click in this box up here and just put in 12 there. So there's 12 feet lane. My slope for this lane is going to be 2%, so I'm going to put that in here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the same exact lane on the other side. So I can click this nifty button down here and just do mirror from end. So now you can see I have a sloping uh, surface and a center line of my road design. Now if I really want to get fancy I can click over here and create with my finger kind of just a, a, a ditch in the center of this road here. And um, I'm going to make this section flat. And then I'm gonna I'll kind of bring it back up here like this. So let's say that's my ditch there. What I want to do is just mirror this from end again, and I'll actually have a double lane highway here. So I can actually push and hold on this. I can remove that point and flatten out that ditch there. So there's my. Um, there's my section. So what I'm going to do is create another point in the center so I can be perfectly aligned in the center of this uh, road design. And I'm going to hit next. So now it's t asking me where do I want to line up the focus point on my bucket with this design. So I'm just going to hit the over arrow a couple times and I'm going to get that lined up right there in the middle. If I go over to 3D view I can move it around and I can see okay yeah I'm lined up perfectly in the middle of this design and I can actually extend out this surface if I wanted to, 25 feet from the end. Um, I'm going to go another 35 feet from the beginning and actually just extend this surface out at that same slope um, grade that I had those two points shot at. 
I can name it up here, road design, and hit save. And now I have that infield design created. So I'm gonna hit select, I'm gonna hit apply. And now you can see, if I hit start, that it'll show this design right here in real time in the cab. And now I can use autos. I can see exactly where I am, my cut fills, everything in relation to um, that road design that I just created in the field. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your local Ziegler Cat representative.